For this week's two minute concept video, we're gonna go over trapezoidal load. Before we get started, make sure to download the cheat sheet here, which covers the most important concepts and equations that you should know before you take the FE exam. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now let's say on the FE exam, you get a beam with the trapezoidal load and you have to find the reaction force. Now the first thing we need to do here is take this shape and split it into two shapes. So we're going to have the triangle and then the rectangle. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to find the force of the rectangle and then find the force for the triangle. Because to find the reactions, what we're going to have to do is set up our moment equation. And if you guys remember, the moment is equal to force times the distance, the moment arm, right? So the first thing we need to do is find the force and then we're gonna find the moment arm. Now let's find the force of the rectangle. To find the force of the rectangle, what we're going to do is just the area of the rectangle, which is B times H. Now B, that's the base, which is the length of the beam, and then H is going to be the distributed load, which is W1. Now the force of the triangle, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna take the area of the triangle, which is one half times B times H. Now the base is just going to be, again, the length of the beam, and then the height, this is where you guys gotta be careful, right? Because the height of the triangle is just going to be this distance here. So it's not going to be W2 because W2 is this whole height, but we just want the height of the triangle. So what we're going to do here is just take W2 and then do minus W1. So this is going to be the force of the triangle. If you guys want to see a problem where we find the reaction force of a trapezoidal load, go ahead and comment below trapezoidal load. And if you guys want more FE problems, tips and tricks, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Now that we found our forces, the next thing we need to find is the moment arm. Because when we're going to set up our moment equation, we're going to need the moment arm. So let's take a look at the rectangle. When we have a distributed load, we usually assume that the force of the distributed load is acting at the centroid of the shape. Now, the centroid of the rectangle is just B over 2, right? So the moment arm of this force, whether we're taking the moment at A or at B, is going to be L over 2. Now, the moment arm of the triangle force is going to depend on where we're taking the moment. If we take the moment at A, the moment arm is going to be this distance here, which is just going to be 2 times L over 3. And if we take the moment at B, the moment arm it's going to be this distance here, which is just going to be L over 3. We also covered some of these concepts in this video here. Make sure to watch it if you haven't. If you want more problems to practice, make sure to take this free 15 minute quiz here, which covers some of the most common FE questions. And once you complete the quiz, then I walk you through a step-by-step -step solution, just like we did in today's video. So make sure to check it out. Also, if you guys are looking for study material to help you pass your FE exam faster, don't forget to check out our courses where we cover the exact material that you need to pass your FE exam. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here where we go over 90 free FE problems. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.